hi this is manish today uh, i'm going to uh, tell about normalizer transformation and using normalizer transformation i will uh, solve this scenario so what is the what is the scenario is actually uh, this is our source table and this is target table source table data is in denormalized form uh, if you want to check like see the first record the customer number is 1 name manish location kolkata the, and icic bank account exists yes city bank no hcfc bank yes hsbc bank yes so so this uh, record is in denormalized form so what i wanted to do i wanted to load those records which is having uh, indicator uh, exists indicator y and corresponding bank name also so for manish there will be a three records okay and for three banks the other banks city banks is not uh, is not exist so that, that record is not there in the target table for vikas there should be a two records and for srini there will be no records because uh, all are all this indicator all uh, uh, bank indicator is n okay so uh, for this what i what i did i have already created a uh, source structure and the target structure and i have inserted uh, data according to this excel sheet uh, let me verify now the scott is a uh, source schema in, in in this case uh, customer bank source so you can see uh, data is already there in the source and batch 11 is a target in this case so batch or table having no data but structure is like customer number email location and bank name so what we have to do so first you have to import a source and target definition basically this is the metadata or source and target structure structure so i have already imported from source and target just click on source import from database and uh, uh, use that you use odbc connection to pull your source data and for target um, do the same thing now click on mapping uh, designer click on mappings create new mapping m underscore customer bank click okay now uh, drag and drop your source so this is customer bank source and after that i just wanted to use expression because back best practices says use ex expression transformation every time after source qualifier i'm not uh, renaming uh, this expression name now after that uh, what we have to do you have to use a normalizer transformation click on normalizer transformation in normalizer go to properties tab uh, normalizer tab actually and create your input groups what in what input do you want it here in the normalizer so by seeing expression um, you can say we required customer number then uh, we required employee name and then location and give a proper data type for customer number is okay for e name and uh, location it is string 20 i am making it 20 for safer side and uh, one more location one more input will be the bank indicator bank indicator and the bank indicator uh, occurrence will be four because we have four bank indicator for four bank and that will be a string so it is containing only flag values so i'm not uh, 
uh, doing anything here. I'm not changing the precision, it's okay, 10 is okay. Okay, now you can see uh, already the, uh, uh, the input columns created in normalizer transformation. For customer, it, one input column is there. For ename, one location for location one and for bank you can see our four input columns already created because we have given four occurrence there okay and you can see this is the output port customer number one output port e name location for bank indicator uh, we have we are taking four input but uh, you can see output is only one and this is the GK bank indicator it's a, a default normalizer uh, uh, column and GCID bank integer so GK, GCID bank actually GCID actually column uh, which uh, starts from one and in which the last occurrence so suppose in this case what we have we have last occurrence 4 so it will start from one for each record and end with the 4 so every time it will start from 1 and then end with 4 for each record, each set of records. So after normalizer what I am doing, I am just uh, design now. So I am just taking one expression transformation and I am pulling customer number e name location and bank indicator as well as just gcid bank indicator so what is the use of uh, taking gcid bank indicator here in this expression let me explain create one port because we have to uh, stamp bank name also bank name actually uh, is a column definition so but we have to hard code here uh, in the expression so what is the so this will be the variable port should this should be the variable port and bank name so string 20 I'm making this as a variable port best practices and every calculation you should do in the variable port so click on if and I'm taking this this GCID bank indicator in the consideration like if this is one then the first bank record is flowing into the target so first bank is ICIC then CT then SDFC ok so ICIC ICICI bank again uh, I am using if condition here if GC bank indicator will be uh, is will be 2 then bank name will be CT bank oh why I deleted bank it's common CT bank again for third it will be HDFC bank And for the last, it will be HSBC, HSBC Bank. Let me check um, for GCID Bank 1, this is OK, this is OK and for this I haven't given quotes now assign that value into the new port that will be the output port for bank bank name so this will be the output port and will contain this variable value apply it click ok after this what I have to do I have to filter out n uh, indicator 
so for that I need to use a filter transformation so uh, what I'm taking from this expression I'm taking indicator location ename customer name GCID is not no more required because we have calculated here in uh, in, the, in, the, in this expression so this is not uh, required output bank we took so in uh, properties what filter condition we have to apply go to port bank indicator should be y so y record should go to the target filter uh, in informatica works either way in oracle like um, the here it will not filter out it will filter those records which is which we have to send into the target just validate it and click ok apply it ok so again after filter for best practices I am using one expression and I am taking customer number ename and bank name here uh, you can remove uh, output symbol from here because this is no more output for this expression or for this because we have already calculated the fill now it this will be normal click here now drag and drop your target table and then this location why is okay one thing okay okay we are okay with this control s mapping is valid okay uh, now go to workflow create a new workflow here customer bank click ok go to session property properties and just check whether everything is checked correctly or not uh, this should be Scott because source is coming from Scott go to customer ok this is batch 11 so what time I'm just changing the properties because this is a simple insert so we, we do not require update as update statement here and uh, delete statement here click ok and uh, the general uh, so here you can give a number like one after one error it should stop this is a session properties I will tell you in detail now just run the task there is some issue with informatica here so if you see the pro run properties of this the, so uh, source is pulling five records uh, three records and in target five records is going so if you see uh, our excel sheet we have uh, three records from source and five records is moving into the target so uh, that is looking good just need to verify in database whether uh, all the correct record is got inserted or not okay so for Manish uh, there should be three records okay three records location is correct bank is also correct you can see here in, in this y y and y and for Vikas city bank and SDFC bank should be in the target go to target city bank and SDFC for Vikas so uh, this mapping is uh, correct and this is the simple and uh, simple example example for a normalizer thanks